Um, next up, we have uh, our team from Finland. This is Spark that from University of Alto, or Alto University. Uh, go ahead and uh, start your videos. Um, really looking forward to seeing your presentation. Go ahead and share your screen and I am going to mute. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so hello everybody. Uh, it's nice to be here today. And uh, uh, we participated in a biodesign challenge this year with our project called Spark, Shield of Spruce. And um, in our project, the spruce bark's protective compounds are used to create this enhanced fabric. By extracting the protective compounds from the spruce bark and embedding them into man-made cellulose fibers, we designed a sustainable, lightweight, UV protective and antibacterial fabric for different kinds of uh, applications. And here is our team. My name is Ines, and I'm here today with uh, Evelina. Hello. <laughs> Arni. Arni. <laughs> yeah, and with Nina. Hey. Yes. Yeah, so we all have a background in design and uh, we are all Chemars alumni in Aldo University here in Finland. And uh, I'm actually now at the Chemarts laboratory. Uh, you can see some uh, glassware on the background. And uh, Chemarts is actually a long-term collaboration between uh, two Aldo University schools. Uh, the School of Chemical Engineering and the School of Arts, Design and Architecture. And uh, our approach is often this kind of a hands-on experimentation, especially with the wood-based materials. And the corona situation uh, really changed our way of working. We got our inspiration for this project from the Finnish forests. Finland is uh, one of the most forested countries in the world and around 70% of Finland's land area is covered by the forests and the forests keep on growing due to Finland's uh, sustainable forest management. Spruce is the second common tree in Finland and stem wood is used in the wood industry. More than 50,000 tons of pure bark of spruce bark is now mostly used to produce energy despite its valuable compounds. Our team explored how to utilize this size stream in a more effective way. And before the lockdown, our team was able to start the research in a laboratory as planned. Uh, first, we harvested bark from a ready cut down spruce tree and we use different laboratory equipment uh, to work with the bark, such, such as uh, Soxlet apparatus, ultrasonic bath, and vacuum freezer. And you can actually see these equipments in the slide. And without the lockdown, we would have researched the uh, extracts further and experimented on how to add extracted compounds to the fabric. And uh, as we are all designers, uh, we had uh, limited uh, scientific knowledge. So we used uh, all the assets we had by interviewing the professionals and collecting data from uh, previous research that have been made. And uh, we interviewed uh, several specialists such as uh, Maria Rissanen. Uh, she's a textile engineering specialist uh, from the Ionsel research group and she had a lot of insight to our project. And uh, our group mentors were Pirja Kääriäinen, Tapani Vuorinen and Ina Solala. They were all guiding us throughout the project uh, with their expertise areas and towards this, submitting this uh, concept 
that would be feasible. Nevertheless, the COVID made laboratory work impossible. And to deepen our knowledge, we did a lot more research on literature than what basic designerly approach might normally contain. And after the lockdown, we had multiple meetings on how to continue with the project or if we should drop down from the competition without the access to the lab. And we decide, decided to continue by shifting emphasis on visual communication. In our project, we divided main tasks by collaborated and shared our knowledge. And we had different uh, kind of activities such as costume design, cinematography and animation. And during the summer, we did two location shoots one in the city and one in the forest and our team feels really proud with the end results and we feel that the video looks professional for a student project and total costs were around 300 euros and it includes only the paying for the model that we had and also the fabrics that we used in a photo shoot. And overall, this was a really educational project. The corona situation for, forced us to work differently and from a distance, but we managed well. And Spark has been on break, but it's impossible for some, it's, it's possible <laughs> for some of us to continue with the project later on. And we would like to get some clear data and do some experiments just to make sure that our project process would work the way we designed. And if you are interested, uh, you can find our entire video by Googling uh, Alda University Spark Field of Spruce. So place that on uh, YouTube or you can also follow us in the Instagram. Uh, here is some of the references that we used. So if you want to check out the sources or get some more information about the research, you can find them from here. And we will thank you all who made this process and project possible and we thank you all for listening and we hope you all stay safe. Thank you.